Hello guys, this is Brian Mouse with Torpicanic. Today I want to talk to you about when the grass starts growing again at the end of winter going into spring. There are three main drivers for what causes this to happen. Now, as you see behind me, you see a lawn that is mostly brown. And then behind that, you see a lawn that is very green. Over here on the parkway strip, you see a lawn or a lawn space that is kind of green. It's kind of in between. So as I'm recording this, you need to know that it is February 19th. 2025 right now, which means we're on the back end, the last third of winter. I live in Southern California. This is a zone 10A. So why on earth do I have extremely green, extremely brown, and kind of in between? It's because of grass types, soil temperatures, and sunlight intensity. Those are literally the three things that, uh, that drive all grass green up and all grass growth. So at the end of winter, if you have a warm season grass like what you see here this warm season grass this is bermuda this grass is not going to green up and start growing until the soil temperature so the temperature of the dirt gets above 55 degrees uh let's let's call it notably or day after day after day the same thing goes for what you see over here on the parkway strip that is also a warm season grass that is buffalo grass doesn't really matter. It falls under the warm season grass category. Now, the reason why that is greening up is because way over on the parkway strip, we get full sun 20, well, not 24 seven, but all of the daytime hours during the course of the winter. Whereas this front lawn here gets a lot of shade from the house and from these shrubs right here. Therefore, over the course of the winter, nowhere near as much sun is hitting this front lawn. So over the course of the entire winter, the soil temperature, the dirt, the temperature of the dirt, like where the roots reside underground, starts dropping lower and lower and lower. Over there on the parkway strip, because it's never shaded, it's, got, it's getting full sun all winter long, the soil temperature always remains higher throughout the course of the winter. Therefore, at the end of winter, the soil temperature over there is always higher than it is here in the front lawn, which is why everything on the parkway strip starts greening up and growing first. So what about everything over there? So that super green area over there, that is a cold season grass. So that is Kentucky bluegrass and cold season grasses. So that would be your Kentucky bluegrasses, your fescues, your rye grasses, uh, and then a handful of other obscure grass types those grass types do significantly better in cooler weather. So they can handle colder air temperatures, which is why they're grown up north. When you have negative 20 degrees in the middle of the Dakotas during the month of January and February, they don't die. And then they also green up and start growing when the soil temperature gets up to a lower threshold. Across the board, kind of as a rule of thumb, if your soil temperatures in the middle of uh, winter or the late parts of winter, if they get up to 45 degrees, then that grass is going to slowly start emerging from winter dormancy and it's going to start growing. So that grass over there, soil temperatures over there are in the upper 50s. In fact, over the course of my winter, they never dropped below 50 degrees. So that grass stayed green and growing for the entire duration of winter. If you have a lawn, and you live in a northern climate, the most likely scenario is that you have a cold season grass, which means your grass is going to start growing again towards the end of winter as your soil temperatures start coming up above 45 degrees. Typically, you're going to be applying weed prevention when your soil temperatures get up to 55 degrees, which means most cold season grasses are going to be attempting to prevent weeds for the year after the grass has been growing. Whereas warm season grasses, like what you see right here with all of the brown, these grass types aren't going to green up and start growing until soil temperatures are above 55 degrees. So you're most likely going to be putting down weed prevention products on a lawn like this before the grass is green. Now, sunlight intensity is what I'm talking about with the parkway strip. Because sunlight is coming straight down during the summer, everything grows. But during the winter, even if it's in full sun, grasses like that are going to go dormant because the sun is coming down on an angle. We have lots of shade, lots of shadows during the shortest days of the year. So when you look at microclimates in your lawn, like this main front yard versus the parkway strip, they could act completely different, even if they are the exact same type of grass. 
as a basic rule of thumb, point of estimation, if you live anywhere in the upper northern half of the country, you're most likely going to be growing a cold season grass, and that grass is going to start coming out of winter dormancy, starting to grow as soil temperatures get up into the upper 40s, the mid to upper 40s, which is going to happen later in the month of March. The most extreme places, and certainly the places at elevation, it might happen in the first week of April. Southern locations, I'm going to move my hand here, my arm is starting to get tired. For southern locations running warm season grasses, you're going to be expecting your soil temperatures to get up to 55 degrees and higher, typically a little bit earlier in the season. That's usually going to be happening in the month of February. But if you live in the middle, east-west speaking, you could be running a cold season grass or a warm season grass. It all has to do with soil temperatures. I have resources linked down in the description box below that estimate exactly not exactly, but estimate roughly when your soil temperatures are going to be hitting 55 degrees based on the city that you live closest to. Go ahead and take a look at that free resource down below. And if you do want to learn how to have a better lawn this year, a beautiful lawn uh, with uh, generally minimal effort, doing the most basic of tasks at the right time of year, then make sure to watch this video link right up here in the corner. Thank you very much.